Hi, I'm Somli San. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm based in San Bernardino. I am a conceptual multimedia artist whose work focuses on socio-political issues, ideas of representation, and most importantly, trauma and healing. I was pretty happy because for this past few months, I've just been in this very stagnant time and I felt like it was really gonna help me get back into that creative mode and thinking. I actually didn't create anything new, but I more so repurposed the things I already had. The first series was just like old film photos from my family and I kind of just reinterpreted how I'm feeling now because it has a lot to do with my trauma and the second series was a shoot to get more comfortable with myself and it was for myself honestly I didn't think I was gonna make it public but when Jack mentioned the exhibition I was like okay this would be nice to put out the third part at the end there's a video that I kind of also repurposed it had a lot to do with me like losing a lot from the pandemic I guess and just like things that I was looking forward to the relationships friendships and just the connections that I have with people really inspires me to create as I started to heal more I kind of realized that my trauma really prohibited me from actually having an identity and because of that it did affect the way that I was according to other people and like the connections I had with people so now that I am healing I kind of understand that now can be my authentic self with other people therefore enhancing the connections I have with people that is what inspires me. Well, a lot of my work has to do with trauma and my identity in relation to other people as well as my sexuality. Um, and that's just something that I've been constantly thinking about and I have more time to think about it because we are in a pandemic and because I feel like I can no longer have that physical space to really create myself and continue like these connections I have with people and really explore my sexuality. My work kind of shows the process that I've been and turning it into something virtual that I could share with people because everything that I showed was really just thoughts that were in my head and now I kind of made it visual and physical for people to see but it's still not really physical because I don't have that space with people but it's physical in the cyber world. Because the pandemic has prohibited physical interaction with other people, which is something I rely heavily on through my work, I've just constantly been thinking about my past self or the self that I wanted to create because I was finally healing and because I was finally creating an identity out of myself. That is what my cyber self now is, putting those thoughts and those trauma online because I feel like that's the only way I could connect with myself is by sharing myself in that way, but in like a cyberspace. Although it is very intimate and kind of scary and it's really exposing myself a lot. It actually does help me move forward because then I feel like I'm being authentic and honest with myself. I have things in mind, like I have a lot of ideas that constantly go through my head, but you know, they're still in the works. <laughs> um, I think what these next few months are going to mean for me is like clarifying my work, but you know, you'll see something when you see something. <laughs> You know, I'd like people to just, whew, you know, just go, go somewhere alone. Just think, <laughs> just be with yourself, learn about yourself and give yourself what you need, what you think you need or what you want.
I don't know. I just feel like people are really out of touch with themselves. Because there's a pandemic right now, and because we kind of lack that social interaction, people are really digging into social media right now. I feel like y'all should just get off this app. And that is all. If you have time, you should definitely check out Explorations of the Cyber Self, and you should check out my room, Nothing to Remember.